Welcome to Inside Haiku Apps. Hey, hello. It is the 30th of October 2023 and South Africa has just won the Rugby World Cup again. So to all my French, Irish, English and New Zealand friends, better luck next time. Be the bigger man, don't unsubscribe. You'll get there eventually. Okay. I got a comment the other day saying I should talk a little bit more about features of Haiku. So today we're going to talk a bit about Stack and Tile. Now, Stack and Tile is not an app, it's not a program that you run. Technically, I suppose it's uh, a part of a Tracker, but it's very, very deep in the system and it's always running, but it's not obvious. And, you know, if you don't come across it in the uh, documentation, which nobody reads anyway, then you might go through your entire haiku career never knowing what happened okay so let's start at the beginning here is a window and it's got this little yellow tab and unlike most operating systems it doesn't go across the entire uh, window it just takes as much space as you need and this takes some getting used at first, but there's actually a reason for it. So let's move this up. All right, that's about it. How high can we get this? Uh, okay, that's about as high as we can reasonably get it. And look, the desk bar is still available. Have to aim a little bit, but you can still get to it. More normally, you would have it here, and it's very easy to get to the desk bar. Then, if you hold down shift, you can move this. You can move this to wherever you like, and it'll stay there until the next time you run the program. Then it defaults back to where it started. So, let's close this. Let's say I'm doing a little bit of programming. And here I've prepared a little bash script. And please don't laugh, it's the simplest bash script in the history of bash scripts. All right. All it does is throw a lot of nonsense onto the uh, terminal. Okay, so we need a terminal, obviously. All right. So we could just take this, drag it here, hit return. And sorry, after we've made it. There we go. Okay, my bash script actually works. Well, it should be 10 seconds to write. Okay, let's clear that. Now, that's fine, but suppose it's here and you've got a bunch of other windows here. You know, and so you can just hold down shift and say, uh, let me just put it like that. And now. Uh, Okay, but they're still it's either one or the other. They overlap each other. All right. So there's now two things I can do. There we go. I can now either 
make this a tabbed interface, right? So now you have to hold down the key while you drag things. For 99% of you, what you'll use is the key at the bottom left of your keyboard that has the Windows logo on it. Now, if you've got a weird key map or if you're using a Mac keyboard like I am, it may be a different one. Just experiment a little, you'll find it. So now we hold that down and we drag it until, what's this? The little tab went dark. And now these two become one program. Now, these two applications don't know about each other. They were written by different people. But there we go. So now you've made yourself a tabbed interface. What's more, if your app has its own tab interface, you can have that as well. Uh, okay. The other thing, of course, that you can do, hold down the magic key again, drag it away. Oh, there's a bit of a artifact there and they're loose again now since i'm writing a bash script maybe i also have some instructions in this case a little uh web page so i can now do something else i can again hold down this magic key this style, I'm not going to make a tab. I'm going to do this. Now, what, what happened here? Those two borders suddenly become dark. Then you can let go. And now, look at that. Let's add a third one. So, if I now want to hide one of these because... Something else is happening. All three of them are gone. And all three of them reappear. And I can still resize one or all of them separately. And just to show you. There we go. So this makes it much easier. Now, I give the example of a little programming, but you could have a word processor and a dictionary, you know, dialed onto each other. Okay, so the moment I want to adjust one of them, all three of them become loose again. Right. So now let's really do something complicated. I decide that I don't really need this thing visible at all times. So I'm going to stack them, make a little tab interface, and then I'm going to take this whole thing and I am going to and that didn't work. Why did that not work? Well, because there's a bit of priority there, but you can do it this way. Right. And once again, all three of my programs are there. Right. There's my text editor. Here's my terminal. And there is my little web page with the instructions. And that's stack and tile. Now, the thing about moving this little tab comes all the way from the BOS days. It's always been there. But stack and tile was invented, as far as I can remember, by some guys at the University of Auckland in New Zealand. And they gifted this to Haiku uh, somewhere around Alpha 2, I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
And so this becomes very useful once you understand how it works and once you've played around with it a bit. And it works with any two windows, as long as they have a tab, you know. There are a few uh, notifications and stuff that don't have the tab, and those probably won't stack or tile. But you can do any combination of this. You know, you can have next to each other, you can have them tab like that. And that is something that I am not aware exists in any other operating system. It's unique to Haiku. Okay, so that is stack and tile. Play around with it a bit. And you'll see just how incredibly uh, versatile it makes uh, doing anything in Haiku.